Good Sunday morning, everyone. Just making two half boiled eggs for me for this breakfast time, even though it's already past 10 a.m. And actually, I'm a little bit sad because these last few days I've been taking beautiful videos. I mentioned already the one before that's of the butterfly flying across the garden I'm trying to figure out how to turn the video to me now without having to stop it so I'm boiling eggs and then I'm just going to have toast with eggs in my room I'm going to take them upstairs and uh, I've already ordered the writing desk for here so one of these days it's going to be here and I can just place it where it's needed there okay and uh, I also took off boo boo here yesterday Oh my God, he was lying down with her belly up, so happy, just being so, so, so joyful. How to say, there's a word for it again. And uh, with this new iPhone, I mean, at least the software, I don't know, I, I've uploaded to my Mac and then I thought that's it, I could delete all the photos here or the videos on my cell phone little did i know when i deleted them here they're also automatically deleted on my mac my laptop so they're all gone it's a pity so i'm a bit, I'm a bit sad about that because it was so spontaneous it was so natural it was sunny and boo boo was in his best self oh what a pity today i might go out and uh, also i might swim i don't know because my housekeeper is off egg is ready i'm going to put this here so ready to take upstairs my battery is low so i'm going to take them to eat with toast those egg place are for Western eggs. <laughs> but my housekeeper left me with some cute, cute cakes. I think her sister made them. Look at that. She left them for me for my breakfast. And this one we call risoles. Inside is a, a little bit of chicken and a little bit of cream. You eat with the chili as well. Green chili. Mm. She's so sweet. She left me all the time some goodies. I'm in bed here and I just had this risoles with potatoes, cream and carrots inside. Sometimes they should put a little bit of chicken, I think shredded chicken, but I think this doesn't have. Made by my housekeeper's uh, sister. They're good. This one is better. This one still needs improving, but can you see? Consumed with chilies and I just had one whole chili with it. After three quarters of eating it. Oh my God, it's hot, but I'm loving it. <laughs> no makeup, just lipstick. I'm by the pool. I came here around 4.15 and then did only a few laps, but Soon the bubbles are going to stop by the timer and I'm thinking to go out for a while. I don't know where. I need to, yeah, okay, do something. So anyway, my housekeeper is off. So I've been home all day just um, eating <laughs> because she left me cakes. And uh, yeah, you know, somebody mentioned that I could do 
a story on my blog about memoirs in Italy. Wow, what an excellent idea. I never thought of that. And I love the title too, Memoirs in Italy. So it's all MMM. Wow, Metam, Memoirs, Milan. My surname also M, and then I was born in a city, in a town called Makassar, so it's M. And I'm a Manadonese, so M. Wow, it's all M, M, M. So anyway, I'm thinking of that. How are you, my dear? How's everything? It's a beautiful day today. It's quite windy, but nice because at least it's sunny. I am, I think I mentioned already, I'm sad that I lost two beautiful videos that I took of Bubu yesterday it was so nice so natural with the beautiful weather and also the butterfly that was flying you know just over the garden just jumping and then stop and then jumping and then flying and stop beautiful I lost them so anyway um, what else yeah memoirs of Italy yeah, I was telling, I was actually writing on his page since he posted uh, the best, the five best bars in Italy. Bars in Italy is a bit like pub, but pub is much more to go for a drink. And I've already, I think, explained over and over on my previous videos. So anyway, there was a bar that is a very, very well-known bar in Milan old school bar in Milan where people you know go to be seen and for a coffee or for tea and it so happens uh, situated near my place so when after Pietro died of course I had to do a lot of errands on my own that I you know just so happened passed there several times and uh, suddenly while I was walking right in front of it it was around four o'clock in the afternoon or something I think it was springtime and one of the waiters just came you know towards me and just asked uh, if you don't mind can I ask where you're from so I said I'm from Indonesia and then, you know, the usual Italian man talking. And then he said, look, you know, I would like to invite you for coffee. So I said, no, I don't drink coffee. And then besides, I said, how can you invite me? You know, you're working here. No, 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 you just sit down. You just take a seat and then I'll give you the cappuccino. Come on, he said like that. So luckily I was done already with my errands. So I sat there. And then while he was standing there walking, you know, about and then because there were not uh, too many people so he would stand next to me and then talking 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 and then he said look please you know every time because I told him that you know I just lost my husband and blah 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 and then after he said look listen every time you happen to pass here please drop by say hello and then the cappuccino is on me Every time you stop here, the cappuccino is on me. Wow. So I said, okay, but I did, didn't take him seriously. And then so happened again, I passed and he was there. He said, come on, have the cappuccino. I said, okay, but this time I was ready to pay. And he said, no, I told you already, it's on me. Every time you pass here, I happen to be here. Just stop by and have that cappuccino. Every time it's on me. And he did it. He kept his words. And he did it. And that was it. So quite a few times I stopped there and had a nice cappuccino for free. <laughs> so that is one of my memoirs in Italy. I will tell, okay, okay, I will tell now all my, my, my little anecdotes or stories of my life in Italy. Okay then, I hope you're having a lovely Sunday and then I hope to see you on Wednesday. Thank you again for subscribing to me and uh, for your patience with my just, um, you know, day-to-day -day life. 
Okay, I'm going to show you the pool right now. The the bubbles stop. Okay, there it is. The bubbles are still there. It's I think quarter to five by now, or if not five to five. So they're going to stop soon. Look at that, how bright it is. Such a beautiful, glorious day. And of course. I wouldn't let you go without seeing my bougainvilles, my orange bougainvilles. There. Okay. Have a lovely day, everyone. Okay, I'm still here. Now the timer has stopped. Can you see the difference between the bubbles in the water and this? Very, very still. Okay, that was an extra.